good day, dear esteemed view, viewer, and welcome to uh, today's edition of Communio Sanctorum sponsored uh, hermeneutics of culture, religion, and politics on ABA television, Channel 2 for Oka, and on Star Times 413, and Metro Digital 29, with very Reverend Father Professor Bona Christus Umogo, Mona Mado. He is the director, directorate of Igbo Village and Center for African Civilization, and the dean, faculty of arts, Namde Azikiwe University, Oka, many years HOD, Department of Philosophy. Mona Mado is the spiritual director and founder of Communio Sanctorum Ministries International. He is a seer and uh, an author of repute. He has written many books in philosophy and some other parts. A great philanthropist, Catholic priest of Anuchar Diocese, a divine mystic and seer, and a lot of other things about Mona Mado. Father, you are welcome to the studio. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And I also have with me here in the studio a gentleman from the world of philosophy. He is Mr. Samuel Ozo. Samuel, you are welcome to the studio. Thank you. Okay, dear esteemed viewer, my name is Jude Mascot I am the anchor of this very program. Uh, the, the topic we have today is on prayer. And uh, Father Bona is going to ensure that all the I's and T's are dotted and crossed vis a vis a provision of answers to all the questions. Uh, Father, please, may you just start by telling us what prayer is in English and Igbo language? <laughs> mm. I just remembered um, a very complex way of asking that kind of question. What is it to ask what this thing, prayer, mm. is? <laughs> yeah. So I would simply say that um, prayer is an invocation or an act that activates a connection with a spiritual entity. And um, that is done by way of petition, the thanksgiving, worship, and all that. So any elevation of the mind and the heart of man to God is prayer. Any communion and all consecration or conversation with a spiritual entity, with God, the spiritual beings, is prayer. And you can see that prayer is both easy and also very hard. I want to point out something very mysterious. Prayer is easy because anytime you open your mouth and you begin to talk to God, you are praying. Yeah. But you see, prayer is hard because you need to cross a bridge. You need an altar that will bring a kind of transmogrification, a kind of change that will make you really commune with that uh, other world. So anytime you are talking about prayer from uh, this uh, dimension, we are talking about something that will translate you, first of all, into the realm of the spirit, so as to commune with God, who is spirit. Because there is always that connection or bridge between the created spirit and the uncreated spirit in prayer. So I want to warn that prayer is not easy, mm -hmm. as well as easy. Uh, so uh, it depends on the level. Uh, you want to take a prayer too. Uh, if you look at the way I've shut my mouth to define prayer, you can see that in Igbo world, prayer simply means ibeku chuku, ibeku mo, ego mo, ego chuku, ego mo, ego chuku, ibwa chuku izu, eta mo aronante. So prayer also seeks that activation with a spiritual entity. And you see, in the Igbo world, uh, prayer may not always uh, be a communion <laughs> with uh, uh, chuku. Uh, it can also uh, uh, mean that kind of uh, communion with uh, these other divinities, other spiritual entities. 
both localized and uh, non-localized spirits. Uh, so I will, uh, and that's why in the Igbo system of prayer, prayer is always sacrificial. Also in the Christian aspect, because uh, if you uh, go to the Catholic of the Catholic Church, paragraph uh, 1324, the Holy Mass is a source and summit of the Christian life from all points of view. So the Holy Mass is the perfection of uh, prayer, and it is sacrificial. Uh, for instance, the Igbo people, uh, why, why they always bring in sacrifice? That's why we talk about ego mo, ego chuku. They bring in the issue of the other side to show that prayer involves a kind of uh, segregatus a popolo. To separate something from ordinary use, from the profane use, and consecrate that thing for the use of the sacred. That's why if uh, you immolate a victim, in the able form of prayer, the blood will flow, the spirit will rise, showing a translation of the profane level to the sacred level. So that's why the uh, Igbo form of prayer can never do without a uh, sacrifice. Uh -huh. But within that Igbo form of prayer, uh, we have Igbo traditional religion. Uh, can't God hear their prayers? I, of course, um, I cannot uh, play God. I know that uh, God hears and answers prayers. Uh, I think uh, let us uh, leave that uh, to God. But I want to say that whoever really, like the Hebrew people will say, Ozuna Mara Bogene, Nehe Bayanodu. We believe more in what Christ taught us about prayer. Like the Lord's Prayer, for instance. So I feel that the prayer thought by, uh, thought by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the best form of prayer. I think we shall still come to that. It's okay. Uh, Samuel, you are a philosopher. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, religion and philosophy, a lot of things. There is always a way you people talk about prayer. Uh, can you shift away from what Father said mm -hmm. and come from the philosophical yeah, point okay. of view? Bearing in mind that um, the prayer in focus is about uh, Christianity. Yeah, taking a cue from what you said, it's just, um, uh, it's just like what Tertullian said, what has Athens to do with Jerusalem? In other words, what has philosophy got to do with religion? Yeah, these are two categories. Prayer or um, philosophy and religion. Now to answer your question and then to look at prayer from a philosophical perspective, there are some assumptions we need to take note of. Two realities are involved here, the human reality and the divine reality, the natural and the supernatural. Then the fundamental question here is what has the natural to do with the supernatural? What has the human to do with the divine that will now lead to a communication between the human and the divine? Is there anything that is human in the divine? Is there anything that is divine in the human that will now necessitate such communication? Then you find out, like Father said, there will be a difficulty of crossing the bounds the, the, the natural bounds of the world into the supernatural because these are two separate entities and that is where prayer comes in. Okay? Then we will start looking at what now enables this communication. For me, among various other views, I will say grace. It is through grace from God and through the Holy Spirit that we pray because we cannot pray by okay, some of the power of You are entering into another line there. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think he's entering into that really to come out again because um, we really need to find out whether prayer can change condition or whether prayer can change God. Uh, well, that's within uh, the definitive aspect. God, uh, made a serious uh, mm. philosophical uh, submission towards that effect. And uh, where do we pray? Uh, do we pray to change our destiny? For instance, if there is faith, F A T E. Can prayer change faith? What must necessarily be as ordered, 
as unavoidable as inevitable, can prayer change that kind of thing? Or can prayer change destiny? You see, if you look at it from the point of view of the person praying and the atmosphere or the environment of prayer, you can see that uh, there must be that connection. When you activate a connection, see, that connection is always a bridge. Indeed, uh, uh, that was why I talked about the issue of altar. Every altar is a gateway for divine and human communication. See, but when what is divine enters into what is human, uh -huh. can you talk about purely divine or purely human reality? Uh, so I must, uh, that's why I will take uh, a refuge again in uh, another dimension of exposition. Like uh, if you go into uh, New Testament exegesis, there's a word called Aiteo. Aiteo is to ask about something to beseech, to intercede, or to consult in such a way that, that the object of intention becomes a necessity or a demand, as you can have it uh, in uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Petite et dabitur vobis, querite et indivinietis, pulsate et apereatur vobis. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will open. Now you see that you are trying to ask or seek for something. At the point of, of, the, of, 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 of time, you now you, you, you now adding a kind of necessity into that. Now there's what called delmai. This means to bind by asking. You can find that some of uh, these uh, people praying, who uh, we say that they are commanding, they are ordering God. You don't order God. You don't command God. You can do that with uh, these uh, lesser uh, deities and things like that. You don't command God. You don't order God. God is a supreme ruler and controller of the universe. For instance, if you go to Matthew chapter 5, verse uh, 12, you can see that uh, uh, some people there with uh, uh, ailments like leprosy wanted uh, to bind the Christ by asking, that is by praying that they be uh, made uh, clean. Mm -hmm. But uh, I must say that in any way you look at it, what they call prosumo. See, there is a prosuke, prosuke. Prosuke explains prayer in terms of dialogue, communion, koinonia. So that's where prayer cannot be a monologue. It is a dialogue. That's why he said, if, if in prayer you are always uh, asking and asking and asking without uh, listening to and receiving. See, if there's no conversation, if it's a one-way conversation, it cannot be prayer. It can, cannot be prayer. That's why I said, if you are talking to God in prayer and God is understanding you, God will also talk to you and you must understand God. So that aspect is not easy. And uh, that's why some of these prayers that border on uh, mystical prayer, mental prayer, contemplative prayer, and uh, other forms of prayer that allows you to meditate, to listen to God, to hear God, to understand God's own language. It's every time you are asking God, uh, praying to God, without hearing what God is telling you. Either you're not in the position to hear that, because you are not uh, spiritual enough, you're not mystical enough in your prayer, or maybe you are just uh, ranting and ranting and ranting. So be careful about that. That's why I said, in terms of praying to God, it is always very easy. But in terms of hearing what God is telling you, or getting answers from God and understanding the answers, or even having a theophany of God himself, like in Exodus chapter 3, verse 3. See, you may say, uh, come Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will be there, and you will not see the Holy Spirit. You may say, I feel the Holy Spirit. Of course, if you feel the Holy Spirit, you have seen the Holy Spirit. That is communion. But you are praying for a divine presence to manifest, and that presence comes in, and you are unaware of that. I don't think that prayer is complete. But it is prayer. It is prayer. Yeah. Mm. 
ni abona oy fe silike boko ife do fele makana onye mepe onya sana nya choli bebele obe oge bele mana ebele de ozo na abo asun ji agbara abo de gute fa na abo agara ba kamma da gere bu na ru obu na ina agwa chuku oku chuku na anu ife ne ku chuku fulu na anu ife ne ku ke ma go ge chuku gozi ele ye mo zaba ge ife ina ajua e furo chuku e be anu ife na agwa e ba ke bele sirike ndi ne chene bele do fele na egwa cho da bata to bana ka wala aba obrezo ku bele sirise buike ma ako wai no ode obu mana adime kukwe obu na eno refi chene ke kuru ine me ka ndi oke bele yes lord i hear you lord obu di fa if i will find you o won ife na no sai na ngi anugo bi je wonde ma di forzo ni abona se bacha kwanya ebele aburu ife je guli egu ebele e baaja o baaja e jiro eguli egu how does one attend this level of hearing from god and pass on the information to you that's why there are levels in prayer that's why i said it depends on the level of or prayer the, or the type or the type from there let's enter the types of prayer and how does one attend the spiritual level to commune with god that's good uh i will uh you know i was uh, trying to go through uh i tell uh the my uh prosuko my and this is from the greek uh, new testament analysis if uh, you take the matter again a little bit uh backwards to uh something like uh, daven where you pray by moving your lips without your voice being heard or you go to the root the fila where prayer has to do with self judgment before the holy order before the divine order to whom you pray or you talk about talk about pelel which has to do with judgment that opens you out to god that bears you as you are to god that makes you to know that you are nothing and god is everything that's why every form of prayer must leave the profane and enter the sacred it's very important and it cannot be done except to sacrifice that's why most of these uh, uh members of the secret society they uh go into a lot of uh, seals <laughs> so as to <laughs> make that translation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so until that uh, there seals are, like what or what mm -hmm. they uh, for, for, for instance uh, there is uh, this idea of um, I wouldn't want to go deep into that Just because a bit. it is uh, something Some, I very. Uh, for instance, uh, most of the strongholds you have in most occult kingdoms or spiritual kingdoms, like uh, let us talk about the kingdom of the air, that has uh, almost uh, four occult regions. Now you see that the people who go to those strongholds do not go there in flesh and blood. They enter through seals. And they escape from their body, and they appear there in spirit. That's why they talk about spiritual uh, travelers, astral tra travel, and things like that. I'm not saying that Christians uh, should also uh, escape their bodies and uh, appear in a, a church that is uh, not uh, purely physical in the world. Even though some of the saints did that, mm -hmm. some of the saints did that in a divine way, like uh, this idea I, I of uh, bilocation. Uh, uh spiritual transport mystical transport see i i do not want to go into that aspect yeah because at times without the help of god you cannot do that that's why those who are doing that with the help of the devil will be very careful about that because at the end of the day you have to pay for that but i want to show that in every form of prayer you must escape a physical realm and experience the ecstasy of another realm that is spiritual so there's a cross there's a cross there's a bridge involved in that so whatever will help to make that translation that's why uh, many talk about holiness as a condition to prayer because for instance if you want to escape the profane and enter the sacred you must be holy that's why sacrifice means sacrum fashere you are doing what is holy so as to contact the holy that is god uh -huh. So, and unless you are in that position, 
Uh, I'm not saying that the, a sinner cannot pray, even though the word of God made it clear that the prayer of a sinner is an abomination. Uh, but uh, the sinner can pray, definitely. Uh, if you look at uh, the prayer of our Father, I will stick on to that. But why, 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 why will the sinner pray, knowing fully well that the <laughs> prayer will not cross the roof? Do you want him to die? <laughs> no, that was the prayer. Just like uh, the, the, the sinner has to pray, so I, so I try to, the grace from God. Because uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, the grace is always sufficient for the people of God. Okay. Mm. But uh, we must make it clear. Uh, that's why, again, for instance, uh, in, uh, of, in, the, in the Holy Mass or in the Offer of the Sacraments, so even if a priest has committed a sin, see, there's what we call ex opere operato and ex opere operantis. So he can still uh, act in persona Christi uh, in uh, uh, celebrating those sacraments. And, and still the people will uh, be enriched. Mm. But I, I know that it will be better if that priest is holy also. So I want to establish that holiness. Well, there are other conditions like faith, uh, love, humility, and things like that. Just that you pray of the public. And I feel that holiness is very important. I want to establish both for now and forevermore that for your prayer to be answered, try as much as possible to make the environment holy. Because prayer must involve a translation, a movement from somewhere to somewhere, and uplifting. See, you lift yourself up and you'll be uplifted. Prayer involves experiencing what is holy, experiencing God. And you cannot do that when you are unlike God. Well, I don't mean that you become God. I mean holiness. If, when God gives the grace of holiness, mm, you appear before him, and uh, you'll be able uh, to uh, understand. Uh -huh. That's why somebody once said that um, in uh, prayers of petitions and things like that, that we speak to God. But in something like meditation, contemplation, and the other forms of, uh, deeper, other deeper forms of prayer, that uh, we listen to God, we hear God. Mm. Father, so, before before we go on break, I I do hear that our people act holiness. <laughs> then some people there in Europe, they live the life of holiness, the life of charity. They help people, mm. but they don't go to church all that. Mm. But they do those things that portrays holiness. Mm. And I want to ask you: That's what can prayer and holiness then can they exist independently? That's what. Um, Gem is called pure religion, coming to the assistance of the widows and their orphans. Uh, I must tell you that holiness is a holistic concept, something holistic. Mm -hmm. It is organic, it connects and is connected. So anytime you talk about uh, something like holiness without uh, humility or holiness without faith, that cannot be called a holiness. Mm. So when somebody acts holiness, I think uh, it's a dangerous uh, form of prayer. It's very dangerous uh, because you are playing with fire. Because God is holy. God is holy. And no one can play with the name of God. Mm. So I will uh, uh, simply uh, say, if uh, one really... That's why there are a lot of things about prayer. We want to pray, holiness and faith. Mark chapter 11, verse 24, makes it very clear that faith, holiness, especially faith, you must believe that God is the supreme ruler and control of the universe, that God is in the position to answer your prayers. So you should pray as if you have received what you are praying for or asking for. And again, there's another dimension again. Uh, this idea of uh, people praying only when they are in trouble. Like Matthew 26, verse 41. If you pray only when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. Because you need to pray when you are not in trouble so as not to enter into trouble. I'm not saying that you should not pray when you are in trouble. But if you always pray when you are in trouble, you don't pray, we are not in trouble. You are in trouble. Because it is prayer that will make you to stay out of trouble. And even if you enter into trouble, prayer will help you to come out of trouble. 
So it's very important to note that we should pray in season and out of season. That's why uh, we should not uh, really uh, engage in really only one form of prayer, the prayer of petition. Every time you are asking, you are asking, why not uh, worship God? It's a form of prayer, worship. Why not praise God? Why not give thanks? Prayer of thanksgiving. Uh, prayer of forgiveness. Prayer of contrition. You ask for forgiveness of sins. It's not, not just every time you are just asking God, give me, give me, give me, give me. Uh, and at times we have found, found out that it's only when one goes through all the deeper forms of prayer that his or her prayers are answered. What of these prayers of asking God to finish one's enemy, <laughs> sending Holy Ghost fire and uh, mm -hmm. letting them get down to the bottomless pit and all that and be set up by fire of the wrath of God? As in Nigeria, Anyama Ejokebele. If any man no work, as in Anibo, Osilike. One more Julani Berica. A Kuro Julani Berica. Okay, get for only Gia Kuro. Now, Joe B. Most of one name, Mumme. Ye a Kuro, now I know for a Kuro, now I know for Tiku. I do be. We name make them one name. Oh no, do a bit of a legate better than a drama. I demand now only a merry or joy, not really hold your well. Maka na Jesus wala yensi ani na yisho amake japo kwa yisho jo ni bugo na ogo magere bum ni abona mana chonge kota na ufundi nebe bela fu ejira anyama wolebe se ejira anyama jo kebel ifu mele doje bemo ni chuko la ni debra ah ah sera pola chuko ongo la afa sera pola chuko ah maka na ufiti feni cholo unki zo na aiga adundi madodo ongo eka madi si jela anyo fu yokuro tiku le adobe. When they make it again, Manaka go docha. How Puluchuku, if Afu. Uh, Udi at Belafu, Ekben Udi at Belafu. Jess Akuzolai, Udi at Belafu. Mana, of we fed them Panuku Nabo, a Belafu, Ma Ibelia, me Beroy, or Bushineke Gamegene, Gaza. Chineke Gaza, my Fenine, OG Kenine. A Chineka Gaga boom madness, Chineke Gaga boom mad. Ah, Chineka Gamega. I can go to you. Thank you. Dear Steve, you are you are watching the Hermeneutics of Culture, Religion and Politics on ABS Television Channel 2 for Oka on Star Times 113 and Metro Digital 29. And with me here in the studio is a very reverend father professor, Bona Christus Mago, Dean, Faculty of Arts, Namda Ziko University, and also director of Directorate Ibu Village and Center for African Civilization. The same music, and also have with me here. Samuel Oza, who is a philosopher here with me in the studio. Uh, we are going to take the first message from the sponsor of this program, and thereafter we open the lines for callers to call and ask some questions. Message from the sponsor. Dear child of God, you are welcomed to Hermeneutics of Religion, Culture, and Politics with very Reverend Father Professor Abuna Christus Umogumona Mado and Kumen Fame of Instant Miracles, Father Founder and Spiritual Director of Communion Sanctuary Ministries International, a supremely intelligent genius of Christ, a thoroughgoing Catholic priest, a professor of philosophy, and a respected authority in African and Western metaphysics, logics, theodicy, and mathematical philosophy. Very Reverend Father Professor Abuna Christus Umogumona Mado is an international professor from the Faculty of Arts, Namda Zikiwe University, Oka, Director, Igbo Village and Center for African Civilization, UNISIC, the man who is championing the cause of establishing an Igbo University as well as Jesus Christ University. Father Bona is a Catholic priest of furniture art diocese. He is a seer and a mystic, a polyglot and philanthropist of no mean repute. Come to very Reverend Father Professor Bona Kisusumogo Mwana Mado for warfare prayers, sacred exorcisms, stigmatization, transverberation, biological miraculous transportation, levitation, and mystical healings at the sacred ground and miraculous arena of communion sanctorum of divine apparitions, miracles, testimonies, healings, and deliverances. Dear child of God, you are also invited to communion sanctorum ministries international on these days as follows. Every Tuesday, consultation from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come for sacramental confession, most holy rosary procession, gospel reading with Simon and Hermeli, devotion to the sacred heart of Mary, Angelus, 
administration every Thursday, sacred communion from 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Come for sacramental confessions, most holy rosary procession, good news Bible reading with Simon and Hamily, devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, Angelus administration as well as the Holy Mass. On Saturdays, communion of the saints, 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Come for sacramental confession, most holy rosary procession, gospel reading with Simon and Hermely, devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus and immaculate heart of Mary, first Friday slash first Saturday, vigil 6 p.m. till dawn. On first Friday, devotion to the most sacred heart of Jesus, first Saturday, devotion to the immaculate heart of Mary. Venue, behind Olivia Montage, former Tourist Garden, Aguaca. God bless you. Okay, welcome back. There is some viewer. You can now start making calls. You can now start making calls on uh, these very numbers 090 You can also call us on 070 rather, 72. The numbers are clearly written on your screen. 090 or 070 six two seven seven two four nine zero one nine sorry zero seven zero six two seven seven two four one nine two we have the first caller here hello hello yeah your name and location hello hello talk ladder your name and location Huh? Chizaba from Oka. Chizaba, go ahead and ask your question. Yeah. Go ahead. We're hearing you and ask your question. So we've lost uh, Chizaba. Mm. you might have to call back. We've lost that your call there. Mm. Another. Hello. Okay, Father, uh, mm -hmm. our Lord Jesus Christ taught his apostles our Lord's prayer. Uh, can you uh, kind of get this thing demystified, uh, mm -hmm. reflecting the theme and significance of this prayer? Because mm -hmm. it's, it's beyond what we see or what you think. Mm -hmm. I thank God. Um... We have a caller. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Can I find a busy And You are name and location. Can I find a busy Yeah, I can hear you. Ah, you not Can I find a? Can I find a busy Three three. Can I find? Three three. Francisca from three three. Okay, I will go Francisco. Okay, get three three on each other. Okay. Mm. Um. Mm. And we feel cool. To pray for you. To. Mm. Mm. So I do. I will invoke uh, the authority of Isaiah fifty-three verse five, where Jesus said he was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for iniquities. The chastisement for peace lies on him by his stripes. We are healed. I connect you to the anointing of divine healing that God will restore health and healing unto your body and heal every wound in your body. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Okay, Francisca, you are here. Don't have a father. I don't want to call you. Okay, Father, I ask you a question. Our last prayer. I thank you for raising that uh, prayer because uh, we cannot really talk about prayer without talking about the prayer that Jesus Christ gave to us. More, co more calls are coming. Mm -hmm. Let's be the calls. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Can I have father? You are there my location. Hello? Hello? Yeah? So I. Uh, Hello. 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 Tunda 
the volume of your TV set so that we can hear you, please. I want to enjoy by button at our TV. You tune down the volume of your TV set if you want to call us so that we can serve you better. Your father, so you are I will answer that question your... from uh, the point of view of the Catholic, of the Catholic Church mm. and uh, some forms of theological analysis. We keep picking calls. You may not talk here. Look at more calls coming. Uh, pick the calls. Uh... Hello? Tune down the volume of your TV set. So Hello? I... Hello, you are, you are name and location. Then your question. Can I find a bit, sir, boy? Yeah, we are hearing you. Tune down the volume of your TV set. But to not volume TV. Hello? Tune down the volume of your TV set so that we can hear you. Uh, let me go into that question. Hello, hello. What's your name and where are you calling from? Is it? Yeah. Can I have a Some two from three from three three. Yes. Joy, joy, some two. Hmm. Okay. Father, good information. Darren, Because of Now we in a belly man a chinneke, Zulu came, no more leaf, not bagan, or begay me. A be a boom wine. It was in one area, there are some area, there are some, where now a bed bell and daffo. I chunk a gotta, not chinneke and a zeb belly. If I give quite on corn on a wound yet, will it belong a belly chinneke, on a twine a gaza again to offer my chinneke and a zeb belly. Genesis chapter 24, verse 12. Who did Abraham? Bele, Bele. Man, he been a bath Genesis 24, verse 15. Now, he be do a go from 12, go 13, go 14, then a 15. As I get better for Zibo. As I get better for Zibo, Zibo, Nebro. Elijah, Bele, Bele, na first king chapter 18, verse 36. He been a verse 38 of the same first king chapter 18. As it balafu, it will all cause it balafu. Zibo, zibo. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10a. Jabez bele bele na verse 10a na verse 10b. As it balafu, zibo, zibo. Now the children can as it bele. He been a above for Matthew 14, verse 30. Peter bele bele. Can't stop that. Nanya nga aungwa na na verse 31. Zibo as it balafu. The Canaanite the woman. The same Matthew chapter uh, 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 15, verse 22. Abian uh, verse uh, uh, 26. As they get better off. Now, John can go one. I can't say belly. I can't say zoom way belly. Even your man at two can they matter what I can't say belly. Okay. Well, who okay. be your child? Who be their son? Is what you cook? Is your mum? Only Lanya, Efonanya, we be belly. Can't say belly. Hello. 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 Yeah, can I find a bit, sir? I'm a from a new book. Well, ask your question. I'm a good one. I'm a I'm a i I look Oh, 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 Nga can you join two questions too? Can you join two so that you pick this one as, as well? And uh, hello, hello, continue. Yeah, but I got my equal. Obonan and we're all one more. 
na ego na bataria kanya ego bataria ke gara mako isu eje ga fa abali si abali si nkizi agara ma asege no na mu ko si nkizi ga maka isi we na eri ego fo na eri cha na ajukwa ke debe ego de ah nko zo kwazu ndi bo na eme akomo zo daboda e were ego ni ne mi si ego muru ha cha we ko zo me so se na ego ya gugo mane au ko zo kwazu na enwe ha na bo ba yelo ye Licking pockets. Mm-hmm. You know, because if you say that you want to make a email, you need to have an email. You need to send an email. I got my account. If you don't babble, now let me tell you something. You're going to be in any way. I just said the answer. Bamboo, God, Tinye, if you get me a call, I can't. I can't go mad. Because if he's a Catholic. Uh huh. Because if he was a Catholic, I just. Because if he wanna be a boy, I just. Kami mengulik over aja na drum. Eku na itu aja sih nadel aja aja sokar dari ingkaf. Ifo na bu 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 aja. Atuku umi umi mu na ifaf. Wefo na dia tuaf. Nai tu wefo siapa aja kageju wefo siapa. I will take this. Okay. Hello. 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 Dalu. Good evening. Dalu. Kita faham nabi siapa. We are hearing you. I don't even know. Can I be sabo? Can I find? Can I be sabo? Hey, Simon. Informer from monitor. Okay, informer from monitor. Informer from monitor. Why informer? Do I do? Because when I be careful, I can just give them none at all. Oh, and so what? And if you move the ball, what time? My old day went to me. I'm not bad at all. Not for days. I'm not just doing for no. Can I make a report? Nso wajo. Shina kenyi la kaka. By the authority of of Isaiah chapter ten verse twenty seven, I release the anointing that said on that day it shall come to pass. So today let it come to pass in your family that by the power of the anointing our yokes are broken, yokes are destroyed by the authority of the anointing. Every yoke of misbehavior of your husband is said by broken by fire, and I connect you to the anointing of the blessings that God will bless you and your husband by the fruit for your own body. In the name of Jesus, Amen. It is done. Amen. If I'm going to go near, okay, Father, I think you are you are still on our Father. Our Lord's prayer. It's a very wonderful form of prayer. Just like Samuel said, if you look at that prayer, that prayer is divided into two parts. The part that concerns God and the part that concerns man, human existence. You have another color. So the part that concerns God is the part that concerns the supernatural realm. Hello? 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 Can I have a phone? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Good evening. Good evening. Your name and location. Can I have a phone? Get out of again, ABC, about your name and location. Asaba. From Asaba. From Asaba. Get out of again. Mrs. Adecha. Mrs. Adecha. Mrs. Adecha. Okay, I'm going to do it. Adecha, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, Jesus, you said in John 14, verse 14, Whatever we ask the Father in your name, the Father will establish that. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I ask you, Almighty God, to release that name, Rafa, of Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. Let the word of healing in Psalm 107, verse 20, enter into the location of disease that the authority of the anointing of the fire of the Holy Ghost will bring healing upon that place in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, may this consecration of healing 
bring divine healing of the anointing of salvation in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. Amen. It is done. Hello. Hello. Uh, so as I was saying, you have uh, two parts to that prayer, and uh, I want to establish both for now and forevermore that the part that concerns God is a part that is trilogic. Like the prayer began by saying, our Father, our Father, hallowed be thy name. So that's the first part. That one has to do with thy kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. The third part, let your will be done. So uh, it shows us that anytime when you want to begin your prayer, always uh, use that word, our Father, our Father. You see, I Hello. want to uh, Hello, you have a color here. go to Hello. the Catechism Hello. of the Catholic Hello. Church. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Yeah, yeah, good evening. Your name and location? Um, my name is Oluji, coming from Onicha. Oluji from Onicha, you go ahead and ask your question. Father, I will not pray to you. 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 Maka. Okay, that's good. Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 said, God is the holy and effectual. If you open a door, no one can close it. If he closes a door, no one can open it. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, please open for her doors that no one can close again. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let your authority, O oh God, be her success, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is done. Hello. So, mm, hello. I I I I, I, I want to. Hello. Um, yeah. Good evening. Can I have yeah, can I have a little bit, sir? Good evening. Good evening. You are not my location. Donatus from Manu Changwa, Joa, Joa, so that time. Joa, 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 Donatus. How can I do as well? Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's one of the things I'm going to do with my mom. I'm going to do it. 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 Makai gonna business na if dena enyenso wu bekene Isaiah 48 and Psalm 84. It's, it's, it's a cross prophecy. Ibera na igemulo mo be ifedika 11 days only, 11 days. Inka abrogono go ebele. Ibera ni fuzi boga dema. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Your name and location. Good evening. Your name and location. We are hearing you. Your name and location. Tune down the volume of your TV set. My name is Ted. I'm the author. Okay, tune down the volume of your TV set so that we can hear you clear. It's okay. We've heard you. Go ahead and ask your question. Okay. Mm. What do you want God to do for you? It's what okay. do you want God to do for don't, you? Don't, don't worry. Um, Second Corinthians. Hmm. He cannot walk. Heavenly Father, the supreme ruler and the control of the universe. You said in Second Corinthians chapter twelve verse nine that your grace is sufficient for your people. Oh God, I ask for your grace to be sufficient for her and her family. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. It is done. Mm. I don't think I'm going to pick next call so that you handle mm. this uh, our last prayer. It's a very important. I, I just want That's to say that okay. every prayer involves two realms. The supernatural realm and the physical realm. Mm. The realm of man, human existence, and the realm of God. So also with uh, that, uh, our Lord's uh, prayer. Now, it is divided into two. And as I said, you have three petitions addressed to God himself, to the supernatural realm. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
So you do not start your prayer just uh, with a petition about human existence. Mm. You need to worship, glorify God before you can now come down to uh, human needs. Now, I want to talk about this issue of Father, our Father. Now, if you go to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2777, you see, that prayer made us to dare to call God our Father. See, it is uh, not something very uh, easy for a human being to uh, call God he, uh, our Father. Because when that, that you, have, you have human fathers and mothers and things like that, so it is only through regeneration, through baptism, that you can call God your Father through regeneration. So without that, God cannot be your Father because of the problem of the original sin. Peccatum originae originantis. Peccatum originae originatum. So that original sin is a barrier. So but when with baptism and all other things, uh, you come out of it, and God becomes your Father, you become a child of God, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. If any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away. Everything is now new. Now, when you are in that position, you cannot call God our Father. Now, there is something that the Catechism said in paragraph 2786. 2786. Please note it down, that paragraph of the Catechism. The hour is not hour of possession. It's not an adjective of possession. It has to do with a special adjective of relation relation so it is not as if you are possessing god as your father because christ said my father and your father my father and your father showing that it is only through christ by way of a spiritual adoption that we became sons and daughters of god so always pray with that name our father not as uh, something possessive but as showing that you have a special relation with God that is beyond flesh and blood, that is born of spirit and the truth. And I think it grants you some form of translation again from the profane to the sacred. Now, if uh, you come down to the uh, other part that concerns uh, human existence, you can see uh, four uh, petitions. You can uh, uh, see, uh, give us this day our daily bread. See, the issue of forgiveness. Forgive us our trespasses as we go to trespass against us. And then lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So you have seven major uh, petitions of that particular prayer. Three that uh, concern the divinity, and four that concern human existence. Uh, so it's good that to uh, know that it's, it's as if that through the grace of the worship, through the grace of uh, thanksgiving, through the grace of honoring God, you come down now to attract something by the authority of that particular grace so that your needs and your prayers are answered. So it's a, it's a very spiritual prayer. Uh, I will still analyze that because there's no, no, no much time to analyze that. I will still go into time, that again. Uh... Our Lord's prayer may take more than two hours. Uh, uh, Even it can take a separate topic completely. Uh, uh, so uh, I want mm. you to tell us the next topic. Then you pray for our people. Uh, what, what I mean by our people, ABS and Empress. Like like somebody is uh, calling uh, again. We may not have time to. Hello? 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 Yeah, can I have fucking ABS here, boy? Hello, somebody. I think it's like it's <laughs> That's good. I will pray right now. <clears throat> From there to, to that topic, to the conclusion. I think uh, we may take our fasting as uh, the next topic. Let us uh, treat uh, that trilogy, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Okay. Since we are still in the, in the Lenten season. Okay. Uh, even though the prayer still, uh, we have still not uh, really done a justice to prayer because uh, even the Holy Mass, uh, it's also a as a sacrificial prayer, we may need uh, to uh, come into that. You see, especially the separable uh, connecting 
consecrations of the bread that turns into the body of Christ and the blood. Now, see what they were praying so that we, we, we run wine our that our turns into the blood. It's again. okay, it's okay. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, the source of divinity and the source of humanity. I ask you, Almighty God, you said in Matthew 7, verse 7, Petite et dabitur vobis, Querite et invenientis, Pulsate et apiratur vobis. Let us ask, and we will receive. Let us seek, and we shall find, let us knock, and the door will be opened for us. I ask you, Almighty God, for your people who are asking, O oh God, let them receive. For those who are seeking, O oh God, let them find. For those who are knocking, O oh God, let the doors be opened for them in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the authority of the Holy Spirit, I ask you, Almighty God, Every setback against the abilities of your people, oh God, let that setback be broken by fire. Every impediment against the character of your people, let that impediment be broken by fire. Every obstacle against the achievements of your people, oh God, let the doors be opened for your people. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let this consecration take flesh of power, of wisdom, of wealth, of honor, of glory, of blessings in the lives of your people. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Mm -hmm. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace.